Wait, is he supposed to be moving like that? <laughs> Why is he shaking? If it starts to fly, if I die, video on camera. Hi, party people. I don't even want to have this conversation right now, but I'm going to tell you exactly what happened because I feel like I need to embrace this moment. <laughs> this moment will go down in history of this relationship. I need to get it out and make fun of myself so he can stop making fun of me. But I genuinely don't want to tell you about it because it's that embarrassing. I was watching this TikTok. I can't give you too much information about the TikTok because I'm scared you guys are going to find that TikTok and like, no hate to this man and no shade to this man. But there was just a man doing the most. Like you ever see those TikToks and they're just doing too much and you're like, oh. you know how people always say girls are so emotional, but he was being very emotional about something that was just like really plain and simple like really romanticizing it and I was like you know what live your dream but it's just not for me so I was like telling my husband I'm like see honey if you did that if we were in public and you were saying all of that and like oh this is just like Ugh. I would get the ick like immediate ick ick and I'm saying this in the bathroom and I got these new stompers on Amazon that's where I went wrong okay they're like platform slippers for the house and I go oh and with my full chest I go immediately Immediately, ick. <laughs> What's so funny is she's like, this like that gives me the ick. And then she did that. Did you get the ick? I got the ick. <laughs> I tried to play it off too. I, I was like, he's not gonna notice. He fucking busts out laughing the whole time. Uh. Just screaming, laughing, wheezing, holding his chest because he can't breathe. And then afterwards, when the dust settles, uh, when he's no longer, he's wiping his chest. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. He looks at me, deadpan. Wobbly, wobbly. <laughs> and then <laughs> walks out of the bathroom. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. <laughs> Well, you're really brave for still wearing those. You're really brave. Couldn't be me. How can you take yourself seriously when at any moment you could do that? <laughs> the big day, big boy. Tell him what uh, you're getting done. <sighs> Peep disenlargement, because it's just too big. <laughs> I'm getting some new eyes. Aww. I think I will finally get to see what you look like. You're getting new eyes, but you only have eyes for what? For you. For me. You know what else is an ick? Me. I'm an ick. I will be honest with you. But also, is not having a partner that you can trust, that you can lean on, that you know's got your back, and that you can also watch Netflix with. Like, if you're gonna have a partner, they better be able to do all of those things and do it well. Like ExpressVPN. And you know what? ExpressVPN takes all of the boxes, so you don't have to sit there and look for crusty old people on the internet to date like me, because you're gonna see me fall off my slipper. And like, if that's not convincing you enough, picture this. Imagine you're on the deep dark www.web not even like the dark web just like regular google and you're reading some nasty nasty stuff i mean your mom's probably not going to read it because the minute she opens the door you close out of that tab you close your laptop but you know who else could probably read it your internet service provider yeah they could absolutely but at least i use expressvpn expressvpn is a virtual private network it's like a nice warm code in the winter so basically what i'm trying to say is expressvpn make sure that your private information stays private it's gonna give you the kind of security that you're X never could. I'm sorry, I said it. And did you know these days, as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network as someone, like if you're at the airport, if you're at a coffee shop, if you're in somebody's house or a dorm room, and you are on the same Wi-Fi network as someone, it's actually pretty easy to get into somebody's personal information on their computer. They could find out your sensitive information, like your emails, your financial details, your financial login, your financial information. And like, would you really want to take that risk? That is why I use ExpressVPN on every single device that I own, every single day, even when I'm at home on my Wi-Fi network, I use it just because why not? Like that extra layer of security just gives me so much peace of mind. But thankfully, ExpressVPN solves both of these problems for me by rerouting all of my browsing activity through a secure encrypted tunnel. Now I never have to worry about my internet service providers spying on me or any dirty, dirty hackers stealing my data. But you're like, you know, Stephanie, I like living on the edge. Here's another thing. Did you know that Netflix has different TV and movie catalogs in every different country? I think it has something to do with copyright laws. So like the movie
movies that American Netflix catalogs have are gonna be different from the ones in France, in Germany, in the UK. But if you have ExpressVPN, all you have to do is change your location to a different location. Like I can set my location to the UK. It unlocks a whole new vast catalog for me to explore with the same Netflix login and password. Like if you wanna watch a K-drama called Doctors, which is really, really good, I highly recommend it. Oops, you can't watch it in the US. So if you're listening to this in the US and you don't have ExpressVPN, you're not gonna be able to watch it. But if you do, you change your location to Germany and suddenly you can watch one of my newest favorite K-dramas. Make sure to go to expressvpn.com slash mango to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash mango to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. And thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into it. Let's get into it. Finally got it, y'all. Oh, it's kind of dusty in here. I gotta open the window. Oh yeah, open that bad boy up. Is it cool? It's a, it's a, it's a spider. spider. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a spider. It's a spider egg. Ah! Oh my god, I can make a wig out of that. That's Don't touch it. it. Is it Halloween yet, guys? This is like Halloween decoration, guys. Can you close it? I can't live like this. <laughs> I can't yeah. live like this. Oh gosh. Something's gonna come out of it. Well, you better get rid of it before yeah. it dies. I can kill a baby like that. In a couple of days, new babies will come. It'll out. be like 20 of them. Ah! Honey, either you squash the baby or I squash you. <laughs> I sit on you. We finally got a guest bed, and I didn't know. I thought that, you know how there's a size underneath the queen bed? That's what I thought I ordered. So tell me why. I get it. And. <laughs> I just want to know why. He hasn't told me why, and it's been bothering me because the last time I checked, you didn't want LASIK. So why do you suddenly want LASIK? What Don't do let the mean? spider egg fall on you. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know the real reason? Yes. So the real reason... Wait, why is there a real reason and a fake reason? Because it's a little embarrassing. Okay, tell me the real reason. <laughs> no, tell me the reason that you told the doctor. I told the doctor? Yeah. I want 2020 eyesight. Okay, what's the real reason then? So the real reason is, you remember you told me about the billionaire who, um, who was it? There's uh, a billionaire who want, wanted to get LASIK. Bruh, the Reddit founder billionaire. The Reddit founder billionaire got LASIK because he was scared that there was gonna be an apocalypse or some sort of natural disaster and he would not have his contacts or his eyeglasses and he would literally be royally fucked. No, no amount, amount of billions could, could save him then. I wasn't thinking about zombie apocalypse. I was thinking about, so you know recently I've been getting a lot of dreams. <laughs> I've been like dreaming every night. So every single night he wakes up. He wakes up like so frazzled, like looking around, and then he's like, "You never believe the truth that I do now." We're in our Paris apartment, and these two couples came over, and they came. We, don't, we don't have an apartment. Oh yeah, we don't have a Paris apartment, guys. That's why I was like, "We were in our Paris apartment." Oh, whoa! So these two couples came over, and he had to stab them. They're what trying to rob us, I think. So I killed them both with a scissor. So they're trying to rob us, and you said, "Quadruple homicide." Yeah, yeah, I was just killing people. Mm -hmm. And then uh, today, we were out of the country, and it was like a huge casino resort, almost like Vegas. And we were eating in a restaurant. And as soon as I got out, I went to the restroom. I came out of the restroom, Stephanie's gone. And then I was like hunting for Stephanie, <laughs> looking for her. And then for some reason, I landed in a call center. I started working there. <laughs> and they won't let me leave. Oh. And then this is when I go, I'm like, fuck, I'm stuck here. And I hope Stephanie made it back. And if she made it back, I was like, she better come look for me. <laughs> Do you think I would look for you? Yes, in my dream, I remember. I was like, but I know if she made it back, she will come look for me. Oh. But I feel like you also were like, kind of trapped somewhere. Anyways, all that to say is I've been thinking about, let's say when we're sleeping in the middle of the night, some shit does go down. That's why we always have our glasses right next to us. Yeah, but yeah. that still takes time. I'll be fumbling. I'll be looking for my glasses. So mm -hmm. I've been like having these like vision, not visions. Visions? <laughs> Whoa, it's just getting crazier and crazier, you guys. I, if I wake up in the middle of the night in an emergency situation and I can't see, Oh, that's extra couple seconds, live or death. So you're getting LASIK for us. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting LASIK so I can protect you. Oh. Please, can you guys decipher what it means that if he has so many dreams where he kills people for me or if I go missing? So at first when you had like one or two, I was like, wow, he really thinks about losing me. Right? He's scared something's gonna happen to me. How sweet. But then when he started having it every single night, and the way he describes the dreams to me, I'm like a fucking nuisance to him. He's like, Bro, you were my responsibility, and it's been really fucking annoying keeping up with you. So, um, please let me know in the comments which one that is. Please. 
it. I want to do a whole LASIK interview, mainly because I'm intrigued by the idea of getting LASIK, so I need to know how it's going to go. But every single night, this is what I see from my perspective. He be laying in bed. DG. DG. Listen, this man be laying in bed every single night on his phone, reading some shit, <laughs> fighting his inner demons, and then every time I'm like, what are you reading? He goes, oh, nothing, nothing. I was reading like people who got LASIK and what went wrong. <laughs> Oh, that's not what you should be doing. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm, I, I just want to know, you know? Wait, can you describe LASIK? So your eye is open. Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm going to show you. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you. Are you, you. going to be in the room? Are you allowed to be in the room? I, I don't, think, don't like think he can see it like that. Oh, the that. laser. Oh, because there's lasers. That's I don't even know if it's the laser. I think they just... If they mess up, they don't want to witness I think. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, not funny, not funny. You're stressing me out. Like Andy be like, um, oh. I saw you poked him. <laughs> Wait, is he supposed to be moving like that? <laughs> I thought you said he could have felt pain. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is so scary. Okay, so this is one person say, I mean, Technically, the operation itself went fine, but when I got LASIK surgery, the numbing drop didn't do anything for me. <gasps> I thought everyone had been lying to me about what a painless procedure it was. Nope. Turned out I just had my eyes sculpted <gasps> by laser without any numbing. <gasps> <laughs> oh okay, so you know how when you go to get eye examined, they cover your eyes and they ask you, which one's more clear? They flash like yes, different Yes, I hate pictures. that, I hate that. Why do you hate that? Because I feel like it's like a test. Yeah. And I'm like, there's a right and wrong answer. Yeah. And then sometimes I second guess myself and I feel like they think I'm lying. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. no, I'm not. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's stressful, right? Yeah, it's, so it's like so, so much anxiety. <gasps> they have to do that to make sure it's 2020? Yeah, they have to test my eyes <gasps> for LASIK. And I feel like if I get it wrong, Bro. my eyes are gonna get fucked. Oh no, honey, I love you regardless. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> if you have four eyes, I'll mean? love you more. What do you mean? I have four? If they just like laser in more uh, eyes uh, uh, onto uh, your face, uh, uh, I'll still love you. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Okay, if I had six eyes on my face, do you think he'd still love me? Yeah. If he nah. had six eyes, do you think no. I would still love him? No. What? What? <laughs> You read it, you read it, right okay. here. Okay. The procedure was intense. No pain like everyone says, but I will say to mentally prepare yourself to go blind for a minute while the flaps are being created. What flaps? <laughs> what flaps in your eyeball? You know the flaps. Oh, because they cut it like a fucking orange, don't they? They like cut a yes. flap and yes. then they, oh, ah, they peel you like a grape Have you seen tomato? the videos? I think I've seen a TikTok. Have you seen the actual eyeball? Ah! Ah! Pressure is a good way to describe it. Then I was slowly turned to the side where they zap your eyes. That part was cool and scary at the same time. The doctor lifted the flap, then got the laser with the blinking lights closer and had me stare at the green light. He basically said, go, do not move and stare at the green light. How do you not move? The, the actual zapping lasted like five seconds in each eye and it actually sounded like the zapping for those five seconds and kind of smelled like burning plastic to me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, your eyeballs smell like burning plastic. Yeah. Then the doctor spent a few minutes putting my flaps back perfectly. He described it like putting a jigsaw piece back. And then he used a temporary contact lens for the first 24 hours. I sat up and I could already see way better. Everything was steamy. Steamy? <laughs> like, you're gonna look like it's gonna feel steamy in your eye? Even on the drive home, I could read signs and see stuff that just an hour ago was a blurry mess. Oh. I highly and taking off your glasses on the way to the procedure to really appreciate how much your vision will improve afterwards. Oh. Now for recovery, not gonna lie, first eight hours was the worst. I had my procedure at 5 p.m., was home by six, took a two hour nap, and that's when it was miserable. Uncontrollable tears and burning. Teardrops kind of helped, but not really. It was like I wanted to open my eyes and keep my eyes closed all at the same time. I turned off every light in the house, took a hot bath, ate a big bowl of cereal. LOL, I love cereal. That's what they wrote. <laughs> it took some ibuprofen and Tylenol and was able to pass out on the couch until 6 a.m. I finally woke up after that. I felt 90% better. It was so much better. Wow. I see the... Here, let me let me show you. No, I don't want to see it. Please, please. Don't do that. Do don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to me. Don't look at it. I think you need to appreciate what ah, I'm going ah, through. Ah. What? what? Look, no. look. How do you look? How do you look? The needle. In the eyeball. <laughs> Bro, it's literally a needle in the eyeball. That's insane. <laughs> 
you sure you don't need me to go with you? No, I'll be back like in an hour. Guys, he said that I'm just gonna stress him out more. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in the waiting room like, are you sure? I'll be out there talking to the doctor. What if he comes out with seven eyes? Like they're zapping me and Stephanie screaming outside. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Andy get an eye surgery too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right here, Did plastic he, surgery. Were you, I almost lost my vision on my left eye. Were your eyes open during it? I was under anesthesia, but how they did it was they had to put it under, so they opened the bottom lid, and then they had to <laughs> put like a tube, and they put it under it, in between there, and then they filled up plastic right here. Oh, oh, also guys, our house is breaking down. <laughs> Here's the ceiling, that's leaking. That's our bathroom on top. It's about to crumble down. I had a fear yesterday when I was showering. Oh, you too, right? And he's gonna think I'm dumb. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna like crash down here. I'm in the car with Dee Dee. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm doing what Stephanie was telling me to do. Take off the glasses. And just soak in the last day. The beauty of blurriness. Damn, Andy. Now I took off my glasses? You look kinda good. Mmm. <laughs> pretty good frozen. Look at that sign on the door. It's a laser sign, huh? Is it really? I think so. It looks like a laser. Wait, let me see this. Is it really? Yeah. Oh look! It is a laser sign. That's so good. I'm gonna buy some. <laughs> look at a finger sign. A finger. A thunder sign. Oh, that's nice. it. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. We just got out. I can't see out of my left eye. <laughs> this way, this way, this way. This way? You see? Not really. This is like, oh, okay. I hope so. One of us is. And it's so bright. It's not good for you. Oh my god. So handsome. His eyes. <laughs> Are they gonna open? It hurts. Your heart hurts. I'm not being with me. Oh my god, can I sit down? Is this chair taken? So, how was it? Can you describe it a little? Like the needle. Can you almost feel it even though you're numb? Yeah, you can feel it, of course. Basically, they numb it, you okay. take it up, and this glow just comes into your eyes. Closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And then some fucking blade comes in. And, zzz, zzz. and then you just kind of go, go black. <gasps> It feels like you're like like falling into sleep. But you know they're fucking cutting your eyeballs. <gasps> and then do the same thing. And then they take it again. They start like opening it using like those like fucking uh, tweezers. And, uh, and you see your vision just like blur in and out, blurring it in and out. And you can't even close your eyes. No, so you can see kind of vaguely there's a hook and shit. They're like fucking hooking your eyeballs. It almost like a uh, eye goggle. Like there's uh, some, you have a glasses, something's working on your glasses, but it's like super close in. Uh, how would you rate the discomfort one through 10? It's not discomfort, it's all mental. It feels like fucking crazy when you oh my god know what they're doing if you don't know what they're doing it feels like eh, i don't know what they're doing but after you watch the video it's like whoa chill chill <laughs> so like no lights nothing like what what did they tell you oh they say just like go home and sleep just close your eyes for like for four hours at least oh yeah go sleep yeah i'm gonna eat no i'll bring you the food no no no, no, no. it's okay no. How, how am i gonna eat here no, no. What's up? Thank you. Honey, can you please Wait, go to why, sleep? Why can't I sleep down here? I, want, I kind of want to sleep down there. No, I know what I'm you not like sleeping, you know what I mean? No. I, I can just No. Rest. I can't be out here. No. I'd rather die. Oh. Yo, this is the most fun. I'd rather die Whoa. than Whoa. not be with you. Stop. <laughs> hey, let me open it. Let me open it. Guys, the most delicious. And then he just eats it like that. Wow. <laughs> That's not gonna work. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what the fuck is going on right now. <laughs> so he's got a vacuum, he's got a ladder. Bro, and he's, why die? But this is like at Get least on camera, okay? This is at least 20 feet tall. Oh. <laughs> why is he shaking? Why are you shaking? Why am I shaking? <laughs> 
Like, if it starts to fly. Oh my god. Ah, she said, close your mouth. And if it starts to fly, honey, do not jump, do not shake. Do not if it flies onto my face, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, I might just fall. No, you cannot. Here, okay, let me get ready to catch you. I'm kind of scared. Okay, I. Hey, does Andy like bugs? Yeah. Okay, comment. Huh? Um, Andy? Huh? There's a cockroach. I don't think I'm tall enough to reach that though. <laughs> Can somebody open? Wait, oh, wait, 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 no, and it's, not if a it's, roach. it's not a roach, it's like an evolved roach. It's even better than a roach. No, it's like a little grasshopper. Honey, honey. No, it's not a roach. Let me get the bug. I just don't know what's gonna happen once you get in here. <laughs> no, it's okay. Where is it? Yeah, check it. Vacuum! Vacuum! Honey, please stop! Please! Put it down! Imagine shooting roaches. It might come revenge. Yeah. It might bring friends. Yeah. All the friends. I have that fear growing up. <laughs> Whenever I step on an ant, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> They're all coming after me now. You guys, yeah. these just. Thank you, Andy. Guys, if you want a real, real single. Several days later. I look insane, but let me tell you, this has been keeping me up at night, and I think that's why I look insane because I haven't even been sleeping. So the other day we vacuum up that cockroach. So tell me why every time I lay in bed I keep thinking, is the cockroach still alive in there? What if it crawls out? No, better yet, I have this vision in my head. What if it's a female roach? What if it's just a girl? Okay. And then it's pregnant, and it lays eggs inside of the vacuum, and then they all just start crawling out, and it becomes a roach home, like a mansion for the roach inside of the vacuum. So right now, I've been Googling what happens if you put a roach inside of a vacuum cleaner. Little John is what we call it. In China? Yeah. That's what we call weebies here. <laughs> we call it Big Johns and Little John. <laughs> Little John never die. <laughs> Okay, so it says that if cockroaches are vacuumed up and nothing is done with the vacuum, those little dudes can live on. Even if the pregnant roaches killed, her eggs are protected and they will live to hatching, finding something to live on within that vacuum. Amazingly, they are mostly unharmed after smacking against the filter, but they walk out amongst the dust with the little hand vacuum just sucked up. So, um... What? Oh no, cockroaches are known for their resilience and ability to survive in harsh <sighs> conditions. While it's difficult to provide an exact time frame, it's possible for roaches to survive inside a running vacuum cleaner for a significant amount of time. <laughs> if nothing is done and left inside the cleaner, roaches can escape, lay eggs, and so on. They will not die from the suction power of the vacuum cleaner. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, wait, whoa, wait, I gotta Reddit this shit. Okay, because Google is not giving me the answer that I want. You know when you start Googling shit and you know the answer that you want, and the answer is, no, absolutely, the cockroach is dead, but then they don't give you what you're looking for, so you keep looking. <laughs> They also said don't actually squish a cockroach. Why? Because the eggs splatter. Ah, and you're just so you see it. And they like splatter. Ah, what do you and mean? They just splatter everywhere. I saw a roach and used my vacuum cleaner to take it in. Is it dead? 100% alive. Oh my god. They can survive the apocalypse. They're gonna crawl out of your vacuum like it's nothing. That roach is definitely alive. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. 
Okay, I think you should stop now. Stop before we have to move. <laughs> if it's a Dyson, it's probably shredded. So they're saying that the vacuum bags, do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That just suck into the bag, those mm -hmm. are dangerous. Some people are saying you got that Dyson that does this shit. <laughs> 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 I do have a question though, honey. Yes. How are your eyes? My eyes? Yes. You know, my favorite show. You know the show The Boys? Yes. You know the um the fake Superman? Yeah, that can do lasers out of his eyes. <laughs> yeah. You feel like that? Yeah. Okay, but does that make me prettier or less prettier in your eyes? Because I was nervous. Because here's the thing, guys. When I, I mean, don't it's not like I couldn't see before. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 listen, especially when we shower together because we would both take out our contacts or our glasses and then I would just be like, wow, I'm so hot when I don't wear my glasses <laughs> and then the minute I put those fuckers back on after I shower, I'm like, oh. But you know but those, you um, so Stephanie upgraded her camera recently, <laughs> she's been filming in 4K, HD 4K, yeah. and you look good. You think so? You look even better. Wait, I thought you had an orb in your eye. Oh yeah, that's mostly gone. He was saying how one eye has a filter on it, so everything was glowing. But the first couple of days, <laughs> everything is in a glow, in a halo almost. And then whenever I look at Stephanie, it's, you know this ro romantic filter? In like TV dramas? Everything is like this soft, glowy. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> She tried to seduce me. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be it for today's vlog. Please let me know in the comments, would you laser out your eyeballs? Would you rather laser out your eyeballs or would you rather have a cockroach lay eggs in your vacuum? <laughs> in your Dyson vacuum that you need to now burn at the stake? Please let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys tomorrow.